Hi right, guys, so here is Furian clan and I don't know if you remember the clan or if you know the clan but they are very good. Highest win streak is 46. Uh, it's my friends clan. I do um, war there often uh, because it's fun. They're fun. There are a lot of my friends also there. Our special diva of course, Maxipad, which is also very special. And yeah, here we can see um, a nice little defense uh, by Nessa. It's a, uh, it's a good. And these guys from Castle Rock, they were nice peeps. I remember this war; it was super fun. And guys, if you want bases yourself, there's a link in the description. Go there, get bases now because, well, why not? You get weekly bases on my hardcore war tier. <laughs> Just so that you always can be rolling with a fresh base. And you don't need to uh, worry about building the bases. You just will get links to copy the bases, which is, well, quite cool. You can just check which layouts you like. And then you can just get the links on those and just build them. And it's just so pretty, so nice. I will take a cup of coffee. Mm. No, I, I have a cup of coffee and I will take a sip of my cup of coffee. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Not a beautiful attack with uh, miners. Unfortunately for the attacker, Nessa's base is just too damn good. Too damn good. Yeah. Too damn good. But, yeah. Well, you can't win them all. And see that? Miners don't want to disco. But no worries. Problem is that yes, you can now see it. It's gonna be a one star. One stars are not good for war. You at least need a two star, because otherwise your clan mates will be disappointed, like they are now in Kai here. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Well, well. Here we go. Let's see which war is next. Every month with Hardcore War Tier, you get this amount of bases. 34 Town Hall 12 War Bases, including 11 CVL Bases. Then 12 Town Hall 11 Bases, 8, 10 Bases and 9 Bases. That is amazing, guys. Link description, go and get them now because next month there's going to be new bases and you still want to get this one's bases. Opa! Oh, look at that. It is ITD Javid defending from dreams come true. Yeah. Oh, little bit of legacy here. Little bit of legacy here. Oh. Well, well. Well, well. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Good stuff, stuff. Stuff is good. Let's see how this one goes and rolls yeah yeah oh look at this the chinese guy is gonna have a little bit of trouble here and well javid's name just says itd so i think that's kind of says enough look at this gonna have a lot of trouble getting everybody in there because people want to go and circle outside and soon the queen will die. Okay, we have the ability already. And soon we will get rid of the queen. Oh, look at that. Queen decides to go a full circle, half circle, and go in and try to kill the CC. And there is a lot of death and destruction below. Inferno is grilling some bowlers. And see... Queen is having a tough, tough time there. Little Rage won't do the trick. This raid will never become a two star and not even close to a three star. And this is what happens when you use my bases, guys. Go and now and get those delicious bases from Patreon. You will have links to copy. You will be enjoying them a lot, a lot, a lot. I promise. I promise. See? Here they go. Pekkas are getting some healers, but no, they're not. Pekkas are just going to die. And we can end this 
replay here and see one more and then we can see what else we have cooking afterwards. Well, look at that. That is a beautiful sight. Guys, let me tell you about Hardcore War Attack Strategy Library. It is an amazing thing. My patrons get access here beginning of every month and the library is organized by month, of course, and then by attack strategy, of course, and then within there by the clan that has been attacking. And here you can just click it, open the file, and here is 21 minutes of Queen Walk Heaven with Lava Looning. Hope you guys enjoyed. Link description. Go there and get it. Okay. Look at this. Here is some legacy stuff for you guys, and it comes even with, uh, well, a non-maxed base. But that's not the problem. You can, you can, it might look weak, but um, yeah, it will perform. But still, guys, I do not recommend using uh, Unmax spaces in wards. It is not good. When the attacker is coming with skill uh, and max troops, he will have this hint of power that is too much for your base. You need everything. You need to have a maxed out base. Uh, of course always and I just do this here to show you guys that it's possible but well uh, it's not something that I would recommend for you guys to do so guys please have max spaces okay let's see what is cooking here bowlers are in this attacker clearly has a special plan uh, that doesn't include any wall breakers but no worries, we still have our funnel. Funnel is gonna go and meet the queen. And uh, jump spell is in there, that's good. It always helps to funnel when you have a jump spell. And Uber has almost reached uh, his destination. We have a little ice thingy there. And also Uber will have a lot of time there to struggle with. I mean Uber peeps. And here we have already bats are in. But where are our free spells? Oh, that didn't go so well. No worries, we still have Warden ability and the Queen, and we can still save this to become a three-star. Not. Alright, okay, guys. Get them bases. Link in description. You can enjoy defenses. Here is this one beautiful legacy, legacy defense from ITD. One of the last wars we ever did, and uh, yeah. Just brings me a smile to me to watch these replays of ITD. Brings back so many good memories, so many good people, so many damn good wars, and so much fun was there. So, yeah, I hope once we will do a regroup and uh, a reunion war, maybe 2025. <laughs> yeah, when all the ITD members have reached adulthood and probably. Some already died of old age. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more awesome war content. It's going to go out. Bye-bye.